All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial today. This is off track from what we normally upload, but once again, I usually upload like a tutorial every once in a while. This is the Strike Pack Dominator, or Strike Pack FPS Dominator tutorial. Now, a lot of people, what happens is they get their Strike Pack and they plug it into their, uh, their USB into the laptop, like it instructs you to, but what a lot of people have a problem with after they buy the mod pass to set up their their mod pass uh stuff on mod central what happens is they have this problem right now that you're seeing where it says not detected even after they plug it in right so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to fix that problem in fact they actually have the solution on their website but a lot of people are lazy and don't check that sort of thing so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right here today. So what you're gonna wanna do is you got your cord, right? You got your USB and you got your controller with your strike pack plugged in. Now, personally me, I bought the strike pack specifically because it has paddles, which are magnetic by the way, they come on and off. Now, the reason why I got it is because it's cheaper than buying a scuff controller just for paddles. You buy a scuff for the paddles, why do that when you can buy a strike pack, which is a lot cheaper, and you, you know, there's your paddles. You know, you've got your tournament mode and whatever else kind, whatever else you wanna do, mess around with some custom games or whatever. So here's how it works. This is gonna solve your not detected issue, and you're gonna be able to get your uh, thing detected on your mod central. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first, take this, don't plug it in yet. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold both of these paddles down, just like such, right? Just hold them both down at the same time. I know it's a bit of a pain to do. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna plug the USB in all the way and two, one you see that don't let go until it pops all the way up and says collective lines at the bottom okay now you can let go so that is exactly how you connect it right so you should no longer have the not detected signal and you can get through all your controller you can get your your map and sections here and your mods are here if, and this is only going to be available to you if you purchase the mod pass through the mod pass website which I'll try to leave some links below if you're unfamiliar with it. And then this is the latest news where they announce stuff and whatever. And then, and then this can't access after you buy the mod pass. I don't know why. It's just, it's not important no more, I guess. I don't know. But, um, and then to map your controller, another thing you're gonna wanna do is to map your controller. Now, right now, this is irrelevant. I can't do it while, it's, while this is all plugged in here. But while it's plugged into your PS4, all you have to do is hold down the uh, left um, button here, which is right above the left paddle. And you're gonna wanna hold down either paddle. And while you're holding that paddle down, simply just press um, any button that you wanna map that paddle to. Just press any one of them that you wanna, wanna map it to. And it's that simple. Um, and that's how it works, really. And then to... Uh, so, so originally it's going to pop up in tournament mode, which is the white blinking light. To switch it to FPS mode, all you're going to want to do is um, hit, hold down the left button and, or sorry, no, that's mod mode. Okay, so to go into mod mode, you press the, you hold down the left button and you press the right uh, stick. And if you've put mods on, then you'll have... Uh, these lit up here and every time you do that you'll you'll go to the one that you've saved in your slots here uh, But to turn it so now we're gonna go back to tournament mode. We just press the left button and the right button at the same time and To go into FPS mode uh, first-person shooter mode You're gonna want to hit hold down the left button and then press the right button one time and it will light up blue So that's FPS mode now what FPS mode is good for if you've enabled uh, your aim down sights, uh, hold on, let me get in here actually real quick. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you're, wanna go, you're gonna wanna go in here to your, um, your different, whatever you have set up for uh, your mod passes here. Go into your mod pass and there should be an option for uh, your, 
see, let me see here. So what this is best for, and now these aren't any crazy mods or anything like that, but what they're, hold on. What they're best for is, if I can get to it here, I gotta find it. I gotta find what I'm looking for here. Um, ADS, ADS anti-recoil. So what this does is if you enable ADS anti-recoil, what it does is when you normally shoot and your gun goes up, what this does is it makes it go downward, right? Well, not not extremely unless you, you know, unless you, uh, the only way that that happens is if you, uh, there's like an option. I don't know where it went. I think they got rid of it. It used to be in here, but there used to be like this bar, this little bar you could slide across like this one has here. And like the higher it was, um, the more the, the ADS went down. And then the, it, but right in the middle is where it was like, it was fine. There was no, there was no recoil at all. So that's how you get rid of the recoil. So that's what a lot of people use the strike pack for is to get rid of recoil. So a lot of time when you see players in game, uh, they either have a strike pack or they have a Cronus Max. I'm not too familiar with the Cronus Max, but I think it's like the same setup or similar, right? Well, anyway, how it works is... Uh, you'll, a lot of the time when you see players with guns that should have a lot of recoil but for some reason don't when you see their best play kill cam at the end of the game that is why because they have that uh, they probably have one of these strike packs and they have the ADS um, enabled the ADS anti-recoil either that or they're just really really good at um, yeah and then there's also hair triggers which register as a fully pressed down to improve reaction time without affecting mods such as weapon fire activation. So what hair triggers do is, well, that's the description, but what they, what they are is basically what the strike pack does is it takes your regular um, standard, you know, things here and basically makes it so you barely have to press down on it. So it turns it into hair triggers. So all these people that are going to these different companies and to like scuff or, or whoever, right? I'm not trying to bash on anyone. You know, all these companies are good for their different reasons, right? But the reason why the strike pack is so good is because you can do everything that the scuff and uh, elite controllers or evil controllers, whatever they're called, you can do all that with the strike pack. So there's no need for um, all that extra stuff. Unless you, unless you, the only reason why I would get a scuff is if I wanted two extra paddles, because I know scuffs have, I think, four paddles that you can use all together. So if you want four paddles, I guess it makes sense to get a scuff. But a lot of people will buy hair triggers, actual trigger extenders and stuff to put on their controllers. But with this, you don't have to do that. And that's what makes it so good because your trigger is so much faster because of those hair triggers so i just wanted to show you guys that that's pretty cool um but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy uh this tutorial strike pack tutorial i hope you did enjoy it and uh i hope it does help i hope you leave a like and i hope you do subscribe to the channel i really would appreciate it we're on our road to 1000 man if you guys help me get there i would really appreciate it do check out my other videos too. I do a lot of Black Ops 4 videos and I just kind of started to get into World War II. So thank you very much and we'll see you later.